right down here at the bottom right of the screen. Our Zerg player, formerly known as Tyrius. Bumblebee Prime. He is Bumblebee Prime. Will he sting like a bumblebee or will he simply fold like a butterfly? <laughs> Alright, here is his Protoss opponent, Team Slayers. Will he fulfill his potential today? We saw him before this match, darting his eyes around the screen intently. Slayers, Alicia. I'm getting a lot better recently, people are saying, and his results have shown it slightly as well. He named himself after a dungeon fighter character. <laughs> so I was wondering why he has a girl's name as a fight. There you go. Ooh, Dun we're gonna see perhaps a hatch block here with a pylon, perhaps. The pool's already been made, but... What kind of game is Dungeon Fighter again? I don't actually know. Um, I actually... This is kind of embarrassing because I know that some of my friends back in the United States a long time ago, I used to play with them, but I played so many games. I think it might be like a, an RPG. Um, I'm not sure, though, to be perfectly honest. I think oh, okay. it's like a team-based RPG where you run through levels almost like Gauntlet, I think. But you level up, so it's like more complex than Gauntlet. But I don't know for sure. I could be completely mistaken. But I, I know I played the game a long time ago. I just don't know which game it is. <laughs> but anyway, one of the characters' names apparently is Alicia. That's all I know. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, I just wanted to point out real quick that Tyrius, or Bumblebee, by the way, he did end up beating a Protoss player. He actually beat Huck in the first round of Code A, actually not tuck out, uh, unfortunately, for us foreign fans. Uh, but, so he played well against an extremely good Protoss, but then did lose to Avenge in his second series in Code A. So, another thing to think about in that sense, though, is that means he's been practicing versus Protoss this entire season. Yeah. Um, so, that is he's been, he's been in that mindset a lot, whereas Alicia not necessarily in that mindset all the time. He's been playing against different matchups and not too many against Protoss recently. I'm sorry, versus uh, Zerg recently. Um, I wanted to mention that the stats on this map in Korea are 31 and 28 in favor of Zerg, so a 52.5% win rate for Zergs on this map. So, fairly Pretty balanced. Even. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, for example, we're going to see this map a lot today. TBZ, when uh, Bumblebee plays against some of our Terrans, it is very heavily Terran favored at 58.2%. That's pretty high for a map. Approaching 60% like that is is fairly scary. Um, now the probe does, luckily for Alicia, scout that third base. A nice scout timing by him gets away as well. The probe probably survived. Alicia is not doing a full wall. We're seeing more yeah, and more well, players stopping the full wall off. That was that's a really interesting wall situation he has there because he didn't even use the core to make. You know, a partial wall where he can squeeze a zealot in there or anything like that. There's a really gaping hole there. Leaves him very vulnerable if uh, Tyrius or Bumblebee decides to put on any kind of aggression with early Zerglings. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's not expecting that because he did scout that third base. But it's just uh, something to think about. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I wasn't looking at that moment, and I don't know exactly how Bumblebee scouted. It's possible he blocked it with the drone, so he just had to do it that way. I'm not sure. Right now, the worker count is 34 to 35 probes, but a few more drones about to pop out. Roachhorn is on the way, and extractors are being taken. Two of them, in fact, one at the main and one at the natural. So only two right now, so it looks like he wants to stick with Roach for a while. Not going to be going into Spire Tech too quickly. And Alicia has taken three gateways in his main base and is not... He's not shown any gas as natural, but Bumblebee's about to find out there's none there. Oh, will he see yeah, it? He sees there's no gas yep. there. Uh, Twilight Council's gone down in the main as well. And oh, he's oh, going to put him down immediately after. Interesting. That's, and I think he's going to huh. do a Blink Stalker all in. It's entirely possible he uh, just does not and goes for something more normal, but I think he's going to go for a Blink Stalker all in. I don't, I don't think he had vision of the uh, the assimilators, but he saw he might have actually shown him the probes moving towards the assimilators. So that's kind of interesting. Slow Zerglings may catch a Stalker here. No, Get that Zealot. 
Gets the Zealot. That's totally fine, though, for how they traded in the middle of the map. Yep. Stalker will escape. Running by the Automaton 2000. Get a little bit scared for a second with all the Zerglings surrounding him, but... Don't worry, Automaton. The Zerglings have only a taste for Protoss blood. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, a little bit of hesitation on plus two for Alicia, but he does start it now. Evolution Chamber is on the way as well as the Lair, and here are the extra gateways on the Blink. He is going to be doing a Blink Stock Roll, and like I said, guys, with Alicia, yeah. it's just hard to say what he's going to do. It's hard to predict. Even he though, he did, even though he did predict it. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm just that powerful. There you go. <laughs> I know all, man. I like I was the one who predicted he was the chosen one. This or that. <laughs> We'll uh, see. We'll see if he's going to be the chosen one. He's a little, still got a little ways to go before he reaches that status. But he's too old for the training. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's going to be putting on a strong force here. He's going to have several gateways. Bumblebee does have a number of zerglings on the map. He's got spine crawlers everywhere, so he could potentially be prepared for this. Yeah, he's got a lot of spines. He's starting to get roaches out, too. His zergling speed is almost done as well. It's all going to come down to the micro of Alicia. And even with perfect micro, you're right. He may just have too much already set up. The Overlord spots the pylon, and Alicia actually knows this as well. I think uh, this is it's it's a little bit strange that he hasn't decided to make a second pylon just to make sure. But a huge run by will be thwarted by a sentry and a photon cannon. And he's going to have force field. He's gonna have force field pretty soon. Alicia's waiting to the last second. Yeah, I like that. Warping and another sentry. Pylon too, nice. And it looks like he's gonna hold off this oh my attack. God. All those zerglings. That is a lot of zerglings lost. Guess yeah. how many kills in total? That's 20 kills on uh, all those units. Yeah, this is, this is a big mistake. This may by be the reason why he does not hold this attack. The stalker is blinking back. And a huge attack here. He's actually been able to avoid the majority of the spines. The roaches are now coming, though, with the attack of the natural. And we may have a base raise because he doesn't have enough production to really stop these roaches. And more zerglings are streaming across the map. He needs to get some probes out, I think, fairly soon. He's actually going to try to oh. cannon up at the top of his ramp. Oh, no! The zerglings get into his main! Oh, no. A failed force field does not keep them out. Although he's got enough to lose in his natural. But if he starts losing those buildings in his main, Especially that one pylon, two pylons powering most of his warp gates. That could be bad. A ton of spine crawlers have finished morphing, but he only has drones to fight with since all of his zerglings are off here at the other side of the map. And it's just going to be stalkers versus spine crawlers. And I Bull think trap. the stalkers are going to win out. There are and there are no drones on the map. Oh my god! He has drones in his main still, but there are no drones that were able to escape the building and production. And oh no, the probes are gonna walk into spy crawlers! Oh my god, on the right side of the map, the probes what are, are dying to spy crawlers! Oh my god! Oh my god, what am I watching? You guys can't even see it! Oh, oh my, my god! It is turning into train. You guys see those probes there? They're about 30, about five seconds ago. They all died to spine crawlers. Oh my god! That was so bad. He's gonna be able to kill off these buildings though. It's just gonna come down to a race, and Bumblebee doesn't have anywhere to go he's gonna lose uh, he's gonna lose all of his probes now though because he completely botched his control at the most important part I, I think of a he base still trade. has one probe back at the left side of the map he has one probe on the map he can make his simulators but it doesn't even matter because oh, wow. he's actually going to eliminate bumblebee before he is anywhere near being eliminated Alicia's buildings are not under attack right now oh a bad blink forward actually losing a lot of stalkers oh, here my gosh this is actually still very close Spines at the better concave at the bottom of the ramp, but it doesn't matter because he's not going to attack into them very likely. No, he can just blink past them if he needs to. Burrow is out, but, so that's something to consider. But, spine crawlers Ah, oh, you should burrow these drones! You should not lose these drones! He's going to lose them anyways. Oh. Uh, he's got two drones burrowed there. Yeah, there's four drones in total left. 15 roaches versus 17 stalkers. And Bumblebee does... Uh, oh, he's going after those now. last spines. Spine crawlers are buildings too, remember. And he's he's got a good range on them. He can hit from the high ground. But now with this, with the uh, roaches burrowed, he can see him. He's blinking back away though. The spine crawler is doing a decent amount of damage. He needs to unburrow the roaches and attack. He he's is. trying to heal them up. He doesn't spine have enough. Spine crawlers are almost dead. He should get those spine crawlers back away from the edge right now. He should, and he does. 
If the oh extractors will not die over time. Uh, what is that drone doing? Uh, dying. That was silly. Oh, he's gonna try and wait for him to move down. He can't win this fight, Moltrap. There's no. no way. The spines will fall. No, he should have just gone for the race and actually tried to trade. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Those spines with very little hit points left are gonna die. Very quickly goes after the roaches though. The drone's going down as well, and Alicia has done it. Uh, there are a total of three Zerglings and seven Overlords left, and three extractors, two of which are dead. GG. GG. Alicia well, executing a Blink Stalker all in. I think part of, that part was of his a, success was his opponent wasting all of his speedlings on a yeah. photon cannon. On a photon cannon. A photon cannon. Yeah, exactly two sentries. Right. In total, the two cannons and the sentries killed about 20 to 25 Zerglings in total. I think if he had kept those Zerglings in the middle of the map somewhere and waited until he had those roaches out, if he'd engaged, you know, like, envision this, those stalkers come up into the third and start attacking those spine crawlers as roaches come from the third and 30 Zerglings come from the other side to keep them on the spines. What is he going to do? He can blink away, I guess, but he's still going to take a lot of damage yeah. there. And I think he holds his three bases. Yeah. I'm actually, I just loaded up the replay. I'm really curious as to whether he even saw the Stalker push coming for sure or not. Because even that alone would have been, the Zerlings would have been able to scout the Stalkers coming and would have been able to slow down the push significantly. He saw the, the pylon, which is obviously a, a very big indicator that some sort of all-in is going to occur. Yeah. Um, now he, I, will, I, I don't think he knew... We'll find out in a second, uh, obviously, but I don't think he knew what was going on. Yeah, I think he didn't. He, I think he just suspected. He had his spine crawlers spread a little bit too thin, so Alicia was able to avoid them and just kind of cut through the side. Um, well, we're going to take actually a five minute break, so I'll tell you guys more about it when we get back. So don't go anywhere. This is the GSL up and down matches with Wolf and Moltrap. No, he had no idea. He actually was like 